Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, that would be appreciated. So, the man who just wants to be left alone, Tony Bellew, has been sharing his opinions on Jarrell Miller on Twitter. Of course, Tony Bellew is saying that Jarrell Miller should be banned from boxing for life. This isn't the first time Tony Bellew has said this statement in regards to drug cheats in boxing. In this video, I'm not actually going to discuss the statement itself, whether I agree with it or not. That might be in a separate video. But what I will say is I want to point out Tony Bellew's hilarious hypocrisy in regards to this statement. First and foremost, Tyson Fury is a friend to more than one drug cheat in the UK. Fighters who have tested positive for PEDs and have served bans for doing so. I'll give you a few examples. Dillian White, Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders. With these guys, there's always an excuse. Oh, they weren't really intentionally juicing, they just made a mistake, you know? They should be able to fight again. But when it comes to foreign fighters, his stance completely changes. Whether it be Canelo Alvarez, Alexander Povetkin, Luis Ortiz, or indeed Jarrell Miller. When these guys test positive, the narrative is completely different. I'll ban these guys for life, throw the book at them, they're scum, they're vile, bloody bloody blah. The narrative completely changes when you're not a friend of Tony Bellew, or you're not from the same country. You know, Tony Bellew's hypocrisy is a joke. He's apparently against drug cheats, yet he's commentated on fights where drug cheats have fought. He's made money by commentating on those fights. If he felt that strongly about it, why would he attach his name to these such fights? Because there's a few pounds involved, that's why. You know, Tony Bellew is just a massive hypocrite. In one breath, he'll say ban Jerome Miller for life. In the next breath, he'll be promoting Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin. This is the hypocrisy of Tony Bellew. One ruled for one, one ruled for the other. In my opinion, Tony Bellew epitomises what is wrong with boxing punditry in 2020. Far too many guys get the job on who they know rather than how effective they are at breaking down a fight. Tony Bellew really, for me, isn't a great commentator and he's not a great analyst. An analyst should really be fair and impartial. That's something Tony Bellew clearly isn't. You know, he's not fair and impartial at all. He shouldn't be a commentator. He shouldn't be an analyst. The guy is full of shit, as far as I'm concerned. And he's really just an example of the shocking punditry and commentary of boxing in 2020. Just completely awful. He fits right in at Sky, you know? We've got Tony Flip-Flop Bellew. We've got Johnny Nelson, aka Mr. Tony Bellew, is better than Alexander Yusek technically. We've got Anna Walhouse, who offers nothing to the table. Darren Barker, Anthony Crawler, Paul Smith. I mean, come on now. Absolutely terrible. The Sky Sports commentary team is the matchroom pension fund, essentially. Just jobs for the boys, and all of them are terrible, as far as I'm concerned. And by the way, it isn't just Sky. Most commentary teams these days on all the channels are pretty poor, in my opinion, but Sky Sports just really take the cake. None of these guys are impartial. None of these guys are particularly good at breaking down fights. The only guy on Sky who is decent on commentary is Paulie Malinagi. And obviously he only does for really big shows. So, um, yeah. And Tony Bellew, for me, is just one of the worst. He really is. You know, it's takes like this that highlight how much of a hypocrite this guy really is. You know? And that's really all I've got to say on this matter. As for the initial statement, Jarrell Miller should be banned from boxing for life. Well, I think I'll make a separate video on that. I think there's a couple of problems with that statement, given how boxing is governed right now, how drug testing is carried out for different organisations, testing agencies, different commissions, etc, etc. What I'm trying to say is, in short, the people who are screaming, let's ban Jarrell Miller for life, let's ban all PED cheats, they're really not looking at boxing sensibly, and they're not taking into account how boxing is actually governed, how many different agencies there really are, and how many different commissions there are all with different standards. People are looking at this um, at this case and cases like this from the emotional standpoint and they kind of leave their uh, rationale out the window. But in a separate video, I think I'll cover that. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Peace.